number 21 it is of the tournament. And it's My Emirates taking on the Desert Vipers in DP World ILT20 Season 2. Michel Pereira has uh, shown what he can do in this tournament. Very good uh, strike rate for him. He gets him off to a good start. Yeah. He took away the blue belt, the best UAE player, and he's very well placed to do the same. Well, so he's in good form. Now, Mohamed Amir with ball in hand. Right on target. It's been one of the ploys of most of the bowlers through the tournament is keep it on the stumps. Sounds Sounded pretty good. It's hitting with the wind as well. And uh, in the end, he will pick up a boundary to get things underway. It's a Sky 247.net Super 4. He can't surprise you with the pace, but he can also aid you in your stroke making with that extra bit of pace. Of course, the following year. Inside edge, and he's gone. Big wicket. Amir's celebration tells you that the Desert Wipers know that Mohamed Wasim was the danger player. In good form as well. They wanted wickets in the power play. He's dragged it onto his stumps. It was full. Maybe not quite there for that shot. He made up his mind very early what he was going to do there. That's an excellent shot from Fletcher. And also an excellent result for grassroots cricket here in the UAE as DP World donates yet another cricket kit for that six. Strike rate in the tournament, get more runs at a quicker pace. Well, he's coming to bat early. In... He goes again, finds the gap. Bisects the fielders, deep leg side. And the timing so so good. End of the fifth, 48 for one. What can go wrong? Ah! And again, not good enough. Yeah! Straight to the fielder. The angle of the ball coming in, getting the better Fletcher. Luke Wood, the catcher. So straight away, Sauter makes an impact with the ball. Lovely moment. Andre Fletcher's back turn. He's trying to go over mid off. He's trying to hit the ball exactly where he hit the previous. But because South is sliding the ball in, the back turns, and it's a lovely catch by Luke Wood. Gone for the sweep shot. And that's a good option. A little bit high risk, but the execution was good, and the result even better. Yeah, really. Should be a big chase for him, but the ball wins. Just a gentle push. Morso wanted to place the ball in the gap and he's done that well. No, we've seen some outstanding shots today. The boundary will get him to his 25th half century and he's played well for that. It's been an excellent innings from Kusal Pereira. Eight boundaries. Ryder looking to find some runs, looking to find his timing, gets a boundary. Now that's a Sky 247.net Super 4. I'm about to ride. Pereira down on one knee. He'll get his first six out to the leg side. And the slightly shorter boundary, but still a contender for the DP World. Biggest six of the match. Pummeled leg side. Slug swept in fine style. Pereira, he's been there from the start. He understands the bowlers, the conditions, and he's hitting with the wind as well. Transfer runs leg side and easily put away. Yeah, that's a goal. Pusso Pereira wants some runs, but the pressure has told. And possibly his batting partner has put up an extra pressure on him to accelerate the scoring rate. Raidu. And you can understand what Pereira is attempting to do at this stage of the innings. He's searching for maximums for boundaries. That's his priority. 
Nicolas Perron is a six hitter and he has shown that in the tournament and he can do it from early on in his innings. Back to back he goes now. Oftentimes you see that bottom hand come into play when you're looking for the powerful stroke, not for Nicolas Perron. Quite compact. Steve. Oh, beautiful. That's such a clever shot. Shuffles across, gets down nice and low, and lifts it over, fine leg inside the ring. And he struggled to get that momentum in the Maya Emirates batting. And look at this shot. The confidence of getting down, getting the better of that bounce from Patirana, who's a slinger. There's not a lot of time, so he has to be very low to getting underneath. Very good. Use of the crease is what Ambati Raidu is preying on. Again, across the off stump with Patarana gives a width, gives a pace, and it's carved. Back to back boundaries. Side and try and carve over short third. That's out. Must be out. Yes, Martin Sagas. He was a fast bowler himself. It was full. It was very straight. And it was plumb. Not in the best of base. Raidu, too much of a shuffle across and outside the off stump. Ahmad Ahmed, he's been real quality. Goes again, even better. Flat bats it. Six, six, entertainment. And it's that length, back of the length, back of the hand delivery from Luke Wood, and he picks it very well. Even if it wasn't a back of the length, it was a full pace ball, he would have still hit it. I think you've got to go wide, Yorker. I really think for Nicholas to be perfect in that shot. Down the ground. One bounce, four. That's a very, very expensive over. 22 off it. 19 done. Emirates are absolutely rollicking along. 185 for four. Get offside and go leg side. Fold him. Brilliant execution. Patirana. Good pace. 140. 4Ks, bang on Yorker, Pora tried to get funky. Both were very straight. He just had to get it past that short fine fielder and he would have got a boundary. It was always going to be a straight ball from Paterana. The angle where Nicholas Pura. Oh, this is an unbelievable over. What a brilliant display there from. Patricia Paterana. What high value entertainment we've seen already in this match number 21. Desert Vipers with a challenge. Mustafa will partner Alex Hales. 44 from 30. Boot himself, his captain, and Azam Khan were amongst the runs. Take into consideration there was a bias towards spin bowlers by yes. Cullen Munro. There we go. First ball from Akil Hussein. Well, you know what to expect from Akil Hussain. He's going to be bowling. Should be out. First wicket. Hitting across the line, Mustafa, early in the innings. And you mentioned it, Rohan. Ball swinging away from the left tee. Yep. What my Emirates wanted. There's that out swing. Oh, what a... What a bowler Akil Hussain is. Well, that's in the gap. It will be four. Well, Chris Gale, Shoaib Malik, Karam Pollard, they have company. Alex Hales going past 12,000 runs in T20 cricket with that. Edge and gone. Nonchalant from Nicholas Puran, a one-hander. And it's Trent Bolt. As customary, with a wicket in his first over of the innings. Well, he does that so often, doesn't he? Trent? Use the right word there, Darren. Nonchalantly got by Nicholas Buran. Excellent catch, that big wicket because Alex. High in the air, high in the air. Nicholas Buran calls with the gloves. 
and completes the catch with a little dive in the end. Add one more wicket for Faruqi. He widens the gap. Made sure no one was close to him. Had to judge it well though. And just for a split second when he turned around, I thought he would misjudge it there. When he turned around there, I said, ooh boy. And he had to put in the big dive. High quality from Nicholas Puran, wicket. Kevin. Maybe there was a question in the height. And that will prompt the review. We'll have to wait and see what the outcome is. Pitching outside off, impact in line, wickets on Paris call. Martin, I'll ask you to stay with your out decision. You are on screen signal now. Martin Sagas with the right decision. Ball just clipping the top of leg. Felt that was the only question. Vacant. He is timing the ball beautifully in this tournament. He's shown how talented he is already. That's a sky 247.net super four. Nile O'Brien called for a slower ball at, up here from the commentary box. It looked a slower ball, but Azam Khan wise to it. 30 for four. It was full, and he seemed to pick up that length really early on. What a shot that is. Yet another cricket kit donated to grassroots cricket here in the UAE by DP World. No, but Azam Khan, and also the flourish and the follow through. Have a look, we get a chance. It's a cutter. Beautiful shot, and have a look. Stay with him, stay with him. Azam, you ripper. Ha, ha, ha. There's a little edge on that, a big celebration it is for Faruqi who continues to pick up wickets. And that's the big wicket of Azam Khan who's been in form. Five down now. A cutter again I think, yeah. A little cutter and a little bit extra bounce. Simple as you like to Nicky P. Doesn't bother celebrating. Faruqi does. He's got 60. Run. It's good from Hasaranga. Was looking leg side the previous delivery and now realizes there's an opportunity offside as well. Third. What does that mean? He means he has to go leg side with the extra fielder on the offside. It's an excellent bit of keeping behind the stumps and a little bit of disagreement between bowler and batter Hasaranga has something to say well I think that young bowler this is the bit of afters it's good bowling it's the googly the line is excellent and it's a super catch from Nicholas Poor and Hasaranga knows he's out there's no need for that staring and roaring in one's face deviation it's a really good catch and that's a really good shot from Ali Nasir who was two from six and Stands tall and pulls out a long way in front of square. Odin Smith can be expensive. Gracefully done. Just an opening of the blade for a good Yorker. The delivery was superb. Just enough power. He's a strong man, Rutherford. Crunch it past the bowler. He gets four. It's a very interesting field set. Edge again. And a smart looking catch from Mohamed Rohid. Catching absolutely brilliant today from My Emirates. There is another one. Tendon it and Mohamed Rohid. Never easy if you're not a consistent slip fielder. spoke about uh, his ability with the bat and there it is on show Ali Nasir how well has he played today been wonderful to watch under tough circumstances brings up the hundred and also a possibility as the well, biggest six of the match lovely lovely stroke 
uses the depth of the crease and picks the bat up nicely. The hands. Well, that's a freebie. Full toss, leg stump, and Andrew Chopra. You would have put that away in your sleep. Any day. Any day. Only if the bat came down in time. Top edge, but 50. A first T20 50 for Ali Nasir, beating his 48 versus Bahrain and Kathmandu. Well done, that young man. A bright spark for the Vipers today. Very cool, calm, collected. Personality seems when he's out there, Ali Nasir, with the bat in hand, effective. Now there's a man in the deep. Oh, he's just going to punch it over the ropes. Mohammed Wasim. I feel he probably should have held on to that. He wasn't very happy because it was a knuckle ball. It was on the inside part of the bat. And the moment he... Slower ball. Fazal Haq Faruqi says, clear out of the way. I want it. I've got a good pair of hands. I'm not going to trust any of you, my teammates, to make a mess of it. Again, rolling his fingers over. Change of pace. Luke Wood was already and nearly through with that shot of his. Good catch. Good catch. It was a fair distance away from him. Sitting on four, he won't get a fifth. It'll be a couple for Ali Nasir, who's had a standout day for him. He ends on 63, not out. The UE left-hander, but the Emirates, my Emirates, on their home turf, 